Hello and welcome. This is Rufamogger, my friends. It's finally time. We have the Team Southtown trailer for The King of Fighters 15. And we're getting a look at Billy Kane, Yamazaki, and of course, the infamous Geese Howard. So as always, even though it's been a while since the last one, we're going to break down the trailers for each of the characters. And also just a little bit of news ahead of that. First off, if you're a fan of King of Fighters Neo Wave, well, they'll be adding the music to the DGA station, so that's pretty cool. And secondly, the actual patch itself. There's no details on that just yet. This is just the character trailer, but there is a note on the balance end of things. To coincide with the release of Team Southtown, an update will be implemented to adjust the game's balance for all characters. The purpose of the adjustment is to strengthen characters and their overall performance, so even if some techniques are nerfed, please understand it will be balanced elsewhere. Get ready for a new KOF. So basically I'm taking that as we're here to buff the weak characters and for the strong characters to get nerfed, don't worry, they'll get there somewhere else, so don't freak out. As for other things for the patch itself, you know, hey, matchmaking fixes, all that kind of stuff, we'll see. We gotta wait for the actual patch notes, we don't have them just yet, but soon. The patch is coming out in May 17th. No, not May 19th, like I know some of you people thought it would be May 17th. That's next Tuesday, and heck, maybe the patch might even drop a little bit earlier ahead of the actual DLC. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But regardless, however it turns out, big times are ahead for the King of Fighters 15. Now that said, you can see this big beautiful man here, Geese Howard. Let's break down the character trailers, we'll do them in order, so let's start with Billy Kane. So Billy, sporting that new sharp look we've seen from before, looks great on him, honestly. First thing we see from here is EX Pinwheel, so multiple hits, and it's a mash move normally, but in King of Fighters 15, some moves that have mash requirements have been changed to motion requirements, so we'll see how that turns out. Also, if it keeps in line with the King of Fighters 14, it should have a vacuum effect as well. We have EX flipped up here next, uh, usually invincible, but you know, in King of Fighters 14, you couldn't do it on demand, right? So that's pretty good. And here we have the parry. He was missing this in the King of Fighters 14. So now, hey, he can parry. He has a defensive attack to work with. So much like Geese, learned it from the best, right? So should add a little nuance to his game plan. Now, here's some interesting stuff. So the big poke, this is one of his signature moves. This is how he controls space. And he has an anti-air version as well. Once again, since pretty much everyone's based off their King of Fighters 14 version, one, the normal horizontal big poke is double hitting. Normally it isn't, only if you do the flame follow-up, which you can see right there. And here's the other thing, the anti-air version now has the flame follow-up, it didn't before. So it looks like the basic version, the grounded version, might be getting more hits to work with, and now the air versions, the anti-air versions that is, is now getting the flame follow-up. So potentially just more damage all around. Next we have close heavy punch, forward light kick command normal, into EX up poke and then another poke. So this combo was doable in King of Fighters 14 before, except for the part where once again, the up poke now has the flame pillar follow-up, which it did not have before. And here's another fun one because this is uh, his level one super here. This is a uh, kick super, just launches you up. And it's gonna go very nicely into his level two pinwheel super. And this combo is in no way possible in the King of Fighters 14. Like, even if it was close enough, which it wasn't, it wouldn't juggle at all. So, this is a big boon. This gives him more combo ability and more ways to dump meter. Also, the level 3. This is an all-new level 3. A much, much better animation. He's, like, just wiping the floor with you, quite literally. Before, he'd just be like, I'm gonna bend my stick at you real hard. And then, that's it. So, definite upgrade from that. So, as far as we can tell in this limited and small amount of footage we have... This version of Billy is basically a strict upgrade from the King of Fighters 14 version of Billy, so that's awesome, that's great. Now, onto Yamazaki. So Yamazaki, got the old coat back. Hasn't had that coat in a hot minute. And looks pretty nice and textured in 4K, I'll say that. So our first bit into the trailer here, we see Yamazaki busting out the EX Flickers. So EX Flicker is a restand. Like, he'll drop you in front of him, and he's at advantage frame, so what are you going to do, right? And in this scenario, directly following up after the fact, he does his command grab, the EX version. Basically, it creates a high-pressure situation. You know, you took your damage, whatever, and then here you are standing directly in front of him. He's at advantage. What are you going to do? Uh, if you attack and he attacks, you're going to lose. If you stay passive and block, well, he has a frame one command grab. 
So these are the kind of situations that are very positive for Yamazaki. The one thing I'll say about the command grab itself, although frame one, that's great, perfect even, it's got to be one of the very few cases where I actually think it looked more impressive in the King of Fighters 14. Because like every time he headbutts you, it's an actual friggin' explosion. Next up, we get a showcase of Yamazaki's projectile reflect here. It's the X version. The X version does multiple hit projectile back. Uh, it's being done against Yashiro's level three, his climax. So it's just kind of a big F you. And just for lore reasons, if you're not aware here, uh, they're co-workers in a way, as Yamazaki is also one of the Hekeshu. That's right, even on the crime team, Team Southtown, it's related to ya boy, Orochi. So Yamazaki represents the divine aspect of death. But why is it that he's never helped Mature and Vice or Yashirmi, Yashiro, and Chris? Well, it's because he's a crazy asshole. He, he just doesn't care. Like, yeah, is he predestined to bring about Orochi and end world or whatever? Sure, yeah, he is. But he'd literally just rather mug people and rob banks. He's a crazy jerk, and despite divine destiny, he'd just rather be a petty criminal. So if you didn't know that about him, well, hey, now you know. Yamazaki also has his active counter. Everyone on this team has counters, just so you know. Uh, the one thing about his, though, it does not stop lows specifically. Although you can see here in the X version, if it connects, it does cause a ground bounce, and he can combo from it. And now we have the big overhead. So it's just a big vicious old stomp, right? And you see the EX follow up here, except in King of Fighters 14, this was like the EX as itself. Like you had to commit to the EX before the overhead happened. It was all part of one same move. So either it's now broken into two parts or the stomps are their own separate move. Have to wait and see, I guess. And more fun stuff. So stand heavy punch into Shatter Strike into stand heavy punch into Flicker. Except Stan Heavy Punch is not normally special cancelable, so it is now in 15, meaning that's a straight buff. Here, Crouch Light Kick, Crouch Light Punch, EX Reflect the Launch, and then Forward Light Kick into Dust, into Flickers, and this doesn't work in 14, so this is another straight buff. And then our Super Montage. So the old uh, Dragon Pound here. Level 2 Punch, this poisons you by the way, it's actual like status debuff, and into another all new level 3 Super. So, just kinda losing his S, I guess you could say. Yamazaki never known for being a stable person, let's put it that way. And finally, the main event, Geese Howard himself. Rocking his business suit, don't worry, the other look's still here. First thing we see, he's up against his stupid loser no good kid in a battle of the Rapukins. And well, kind of speaks for itself on this one. Geese's Rapukins, they're big, they're thick, they're meaty, their hitboxes high up there, erect up in the sky. Rock's Rapukins, small, flaccid, impotent, frankly. This is like putting Dan's fireball up against Gokin's. Like it's frankly embarrassing he's trying. And here, Rock's running his mouth about some emo problems that, frankly, Geese is above. He doesn't need this stuff. Now, here in the trailer, we see EX Air Shippuken. It's basically just an air fireball. If you do the non-EX version, he'll fling himself across the screen. Now, next here is one of the party starters. So this is Fudouken. This is sort of like a Rekka system. It has the punch and then has multiple follow-ups, and you get to choose which one you want. So like here's the stomp, that's a true hard knockdown by the way, also has a sweep option, and the most important for Geese's combo structure is this guy right here, which is the big wall bounce, and you can get a lot of combos and fun stuff from. And you specifically need the EX version to get the wall bounce, just so you know. Here we see Geese's Leaping Slash, this is another returning move, he did not have this in 14, it's been a while since he's had it. And also, you can see here, we have the EX Ground Throw, big old lightning bolt. Also, just a note here real quick, ground throw here, also staying same side this time. Usually it's a side switch. And here we are, it's counter time. So Geese, perhaps the most famous counter character in all of fighting games. So he has high, mid, and low counters. Like right there when you see he throws the fireball, he catches the jump, that's the high counter. The side switch is the mid, from which you can get full combos after the fact. So counters are a big part of the game. Now, some more spice here. So a little combo, sure, but the first part here, EX Fidoken. No follow-up causes a crumple state. 
does not work that way in King of Fighters 14. So that's all brand new. Uh, you get a combo from it. So Leaping Slash and then juggle into a regular Fadoukan into the follow-up, except that's also an all-new follow-up. Uh, normally in King of Fighters 14, there's only three follow-ups and that punch is not one of them. So that's uh, brand new. So Geese is getting all sorts of new toys and fun things to play around with. And that's, well, that's just great. And the fun does not stop. So behold here, the Raging Storm. Oh, and here's another beautiful looking super, right? This is the Rashomon. But did you catch that? Besides like the cool hit and all the text and all that? So big climax animation, get the yellow swirls, all that kind of stuff, you know, Raging Storm. And I'm sure it'll have the easy motion. Don't worry about the pretzel motion. So, okay, that's his level three. That's great. That's all well and dandy. Also, Rock, eat the better version of the movie. Your version sucks. Sorry. But then we come to Rashomon. And wait a second. Uh, we got the yellow swirlies of a climax. So, yes, Geese has two separate level threes. And also, by the way, this is a command grab, just so you know. It's KOF after all. So, yeah, Geese has two separate level three supers. And that's... Well, great. Befitting of Geese Howard. Gonna have to assume Rashomon does a little bit more damage because his command grab is harder to land. And plus, you know, the animation's just, well, the animation looks great, right? When you get hit so hard, there's Japanese text in the background. You know some real shit's going down. And that's the trailer. So we got the characters. They're all getting a second skin. I'm assuming that's just included. That's great. And we have our little roadmap here. And keep this in mind. So we're going to have six more characters before the year's up. That's fantastic. But remember how Rugal sort of broke the chain free update? Who's to say that can't happen again? Maybe someone else can just kind of cut ahead of the line and perhaps shatter all expectations. Just a little food for thought, a little thought experiment, I guess you could say. But yeah, so May 17th, we're getting Team Southtown. That's fantastic. Maybe same day, maybe a day earlier. I don't know. We're going to get the balance patch. We don't know all the details of what the patch is going to entail. Hopefully all good stuff. Naturally on the channel, you'll find a full breakdown of the patch, everything that's within it, all the changes for all the characters. I'm going to cover it with a microscope. Hopefully all the characters I like get good buffs and everyone else, eh, we can figure it out later. But yeah, exciting times. Looking forward to it. So yeah. Expect a lot more King of Fighters 15 coverage on the channel. Make sure to stay tuned. And until then, well, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some King of Fighters.